Hey guys, it's your girl Patrika. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, we are here with a surgery vlog. Your girl is dressed and ready. I'm actually about to head to the airport right now because I'm going to Colombia. So I'm going to bring you guys along this entire journey with me from start to finish. And you guys are going to see what I'm getting. But I'm going to be very detailed. You know, one thing about me, I love to provide information. So if you're watching this video, hey girl, hey, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Glamdoll underscore Patrika and welcome. So as you guys can see from the title, I am getting chin light bulb and jawline contouring. So I decided to go to Columbia for this. And I know some of you guys are probably going to be wondering like, why, why? And as I mentioned in my BBL vlog, I gained, I purposely gained 15 pounds for my BBL. So I love my body. I love it. But with me doing that, my face got fat because when you gain weight, you gain weight all over. So, so I originally was going to do chin lipo when I was getting my BBL, but I ended up changing my mind. But looking back, I should have just got it done the same time because one year later, I'm getting chin lipo because my face got super fat for me gaining 15 pounds a year ago. And so we're just going in and, you know, getting rid of some of that fat and doing a little bit of jawline contouring so like i said i'm gonna bring you guys along this entire journey with me vlog everything answer all you guys questions so i will see you guys once i reach the airport and once i'm in columbia patrika takes columbia here we go <laughs> landed in Colombia and I'm here with Alex, Colombian hey driver. I'm gonna have his Instagram tagged down below so that you guys can follow him but he is our driver while we're here in Colombia and so right now we're headed to the hotel. I'm excited and this is our driver and then my sister in the back. His name is Alex, and I'm going to have his Instagram. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys the room. And by the way, when I booked with my doctor, which I'm going to show you guys him tomorrow, don't worry. I'm going to keep you guys posted on the entire process. But um, this hotel, the driver, and the procedure was all included in one package. So that's something that I really liked. I didn't have to go out and find a hotel. I didn't have to go out and try to find the driver separate. Like the clinic booked everything together. And to be honest, even though my sister is here with me, I did pay for her flight to come. Um, if you decide to come out here alone, to be honest, I actually feel safe. Like this is a really nice hotel. This is one of the best hotels in Cathy. The driver told me it's big, it's nice. I'm gonna show you guys the lobby when we go get food later. But right now I'm gonna show you guys the hotel room that we're staying in. So, so this is the bathroom right here. It's just got a mirror, got some toiletries, and this is the shower right here and then this is where the fridge is and there is some snacks and also there's like some drinks in here you know they have the Colombian drinks they got bottled water you do not want to drink their tap water out here so 
that's that and then this is the room you have a full mirror on the wall and then we did end up getting a room with two beds now the room is nothing like too fancy but one thing i can say is that it is clean and the lobby looks the best but I was, I'm, actually, I'm actually about to go in the shower and get ready because we are going to get some food, some good Colombian food. Now, the hotel that I'm staying at, which I'm going to go downstairs and show you guys the lobby because it's really nice. But there, but there is five restaurants on this lobby. Yeah, they have pizza, they have pasta, they have all different type of food. But, but since I'm not getting the procedure done today, I'm getting it done tomorrow and I just have like a free afternoon, evening to myself. I'm like, I really want to get a nice plate of Colombian food. And so I'm going to take a shower right now. I am super hot. And then we are going to, I'm going to show you guys the lobby. We're going to get some food and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys about the process for tomorrow with me getting the chin lipo and jawline contouring. Um, and what the doctor plans on doing and how it works. So, you know guava? Mm -hmm. You know, guava. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what guava is? Have you ever seen it? It's actually a fruit. Okay. So that sauce oh, is yes. guava sauce. So it's like a fruit sauce. It's delicious. Okay. Yay. I was trying to switch to the salad. Mm. Guys, this is so good. You be entertaining. This is so good. <laughs> I will get in it. I will be getting it. Try with the sauce. Guys, so it's the next day. Right now it's like 5 30 in the morning. I'm actually headed to get some blood work done. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I just put my hair up and do this on. But in order to get this chin light bowl slash jawline contouring done, you do need blood work. Dr. Christian <clears throat> do require you, he's gonna test like how if your blood He's going to test if your blood is going to form clots or not. So I'm going to bring you guys to the clinic right now. My driver is downstairs and I do have my passport. You always want to walk around with your passport to show your identity. Usually I would have just brought my ID, but because we're out the country, bring your passport. I'm a little bit tired, but um, the process basically is we're going to do blood work then I, and then the results is going to come back in a couple of hours. And then if, if everything is good, then I will get the procedure done today. I think they said like around 2 p.m. or like 4 p.m. It's gonna get done the same day. So we're gonna see what like the blood clinics in um, Colombia is like. So we're actually about to head out because he's waiting downstairs. So let's go, you guys. So it's a couple of hours later and today is the procedure day. I did have some breakfast. I went downstairs and got some breakfast this morning, but I mostly just ate fruit. I had like a little piece of croissant, but I really wasn't in the mood due to, to be honest, I still kind of feel full from last night. I know that sounds crazy, but I ate a lot of food last night. I'm not really that hungry. And usually when I'm back home, usually when I'm back home, I don't be eating until like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., so I'm not really hungry at all, but today is the day, and so I did just put my hair back in one braid, and 
I did wash the bottom of my face where I will be getting the liposuction with Hypercleanse. I had some leftover Hypercleanse from my BBL procedure over a year ago. And this is like a really good soap that they tell you to clean your body with. And so it's an antiseptic soap. And so since I just had some leftover soap, I'm like, you know what? Let me just wash my face since that's what I will be getting. It's getting my procedure done at so we are about to head out i'm just waiting for my driver right now and then once i get to the clinic you guys will meet my doctor and everything and so i am going to be doing they call it con conscious sedation so that means i'm not really going to be fully underneath anesthesia but they kind of give you something to just like relax you while you get the procedure done so this is my before and you guys can see like i just my face will be like more contoured, so with my jawline at least. So this is that, and so we're about to head out. So I will see you guys downstairs. And by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but my blood results did come back and everything was good to go. And so that's a good sign. So anyways, let's head out and I will be back. It's just for medical purposes. Dudas, preguntas, ya está clara. No, so after the procedure, you will need to use the Garmin for 24 hours, mm -hmm. the first five days. Mm -hmm. If you work from home or you can do it like, like you can keep it for like two, three weeks, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. The more you use the Garmin, the better. You need to have massages here. We're gonna send you the number of the lady. And then once you get home, you gotta do it yourself mm -hmm. and you gotta have somebody else doing it if you want it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually really easy because you use your hands to do the massages. Mm -hmm. This way and this way. It's actually super easy. So. Mira que por lo que el nombre aquí. Just. Nombre y el número del pasaporte. Yo se lo muestro. Hey guys, so it's a couple of hours later. I'm back at the hotel and as you guys can see, I got my chin lipo and jawline contouring done. Now you guys, I have to sit down and tell you guys the entire story about how it went plus with the anesthesia because i was i wasn't fully underneath anesthesia i was under conscious sedation so i'll talk to you guys about that but um i'm out um i did like film footage plus do the procedures so i was in there i was in the office i want to say for like a good three four hours and so after the procedure i did eat some kfc because i just always wanted to try colombian kfc so i ate i just chilled was just talking to my sister and um now i just have my faha on and the phone i do want to say that i feel zero pain like during my procedure i felt no pain whatsoever um you only feel a little bit of pressure but you don't even feel that much pressure to be honest to be honest the only thing that was making me anxious during my surgery was because they gave they gave me like sleeping gas to like help calm me down and to put me in a conscious sedation I was feeling like a little bit woozy while I was on the sleeping gas, so that was making me anxious because I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel woozy, I feel woozy. But um, that's really the only thing I could say, but besides that, there was zero pain whatsoever, no pain at all. Um, right now, the numbing is like wearing off and I still don't really feel any pain to be honest i haven't taken any pain medicine i feel like i don't really need it there's no pain we're gonna see um what's that's like tomorrow i do have a massage schedule when you're doing this chin light bulb slash jawline contouring you do need to get massages you're gonna treat this exactly how you would treat you're gonna treat this the same way you would treat it as if you was getting lipo on your stomach you need to wear a faha you need to do your massages if you do not do your massages you can de develop fibrosis and so that's something that we do not want so um i'm gonna show you guys in the morning when the nurse comes to give, give me the massage i'm gonna record it for you guys and the doctor also told me 
that I could do my own massages and so I'm gonna learn to do that as well because pay for massages back home can be very pricey now tomorrow the nurse is going to charge $20 and I'm probably gonna tip her on top of that so in Colombia things are very way more affordable $20 for a lymphatic massage like what in <laughs> back home they might charge way more so I'm gonna make sure that I do stay on top of, of my massages they also told me that I needed to wear this 24 hours a day for the first five days and then like 12 hours a day afterwards and so i'm going to be very 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 consistent but i can't wait to show you guys the results it do take some time to see the results because like i said you need to do your massages the sweat needs to go down and you have to be consistent the doctor also told me that if i gain weight if i start eating bad if i do anything to where i gain back fat in my body my face will get fat again and so i do have to keep that in mind do not um, gain no weight. I wasn't planning on gaining no weight in the first place because to be honest, my weight has stayed the same from a year now. From from the moment I got my BBL a year ago to now, my weight is the same. I did not gain weight. I gained weight before I got my BBL so that I can have enough fat to, you know, make sure that my booty was a good size. So once I gained that weight, my face got fat. So I went an entire, I contemplated getting chin lipo for an, an, an entire year or longer than a year, but I want to say in a year. So this is, something, this is something that I have been thinking about for an entire year. And I know that some people would say to me, but why didn't you just lose the weight to, um, to get rid of the double chin and all that? And it's like, if I lose weight, when I lose weight, I lose weight everywhere. I start losing weight on my face, I start losing weight on my thighs, I start losing weight on my butt. So I don't want to lose no weight. I love my size, I love my weight, I love my body. I don't want to lose weight. So it's like, I knew that if I began to lose weight, my butt will go away, everything will go away. So I'm like, it's not really worth it. I'd rather just do the chin light bulb so that my body could stay the same. My face would just look more snatched. And so that's what I did. And I'm happy I went this route. Like I said, the only thing that made me really anxious was the sleeping gas, just because I don't really like that woozy, high feeling. I really don't like it um, at all. <laughs> so I was like feeling very, anxious but one thing I can say is that my driver Alex was in the room while I was getting this done and he really helped calm me down he was able to translate like guys and plus having my sister out here really helped as well like I don't know how some girls fly out to Columbia by themselves for surgery I just don't think I can do that not at all like not at all also when I first came out of surgery my lip was like moving so weird like I wasn't like when I smile, I wasn't able to do this right after surgery. Now I'm only telling you guys this now because when I was searching up videos on Chin Light Bowl in Colombia, there was like no videos coming up. The only videos that was coming up was from girls that went to Chin Light Bowl, the girls that went to Mexico to get Chin Light Bowl. But girls that came to Colombia to get the jawline and chin, nothing was coming up. So that's the only reason why I'm telling you guys this now. But when I first came out, I was not able to talk regular and I cannot smile like this. Like, my the, my bottom lip, lip looked this so weird, and for a moment, I thought that it would have been permanent. Like, I was so scared, and so that's why I was so anxious, but, look, guys, my mouth is back to normal. So, if you're getting this, just know that it's normal, and it's going to go away. Once again, my driver did calm me down and tell me, this is normal. I feel like it's so, I'm so grateful to have somebody out here that can translate for me. Because he deals with so many patients that went through the same procedure, he knows what's normal, he knows what's not normal. My doctor was super nice, and Alex just had been such a big help. So, I'm actually about to go downstairs and get some food with my sister. Even though I ate KFC, I might just grab something quick again to eat just because. And then I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I just want to check in with you dolls. I do plan on giving you guys an update and everything. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So I'll
Hey guys, so it is the next day. As you guys saw from the last clip, I did have a nurse come out here to do a lymphatic massage on my chin. Just like when you get um, lipo done on your stomach and you have to get the massages, the same thing goes for your chin. And you guys, the massages was very, 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 very painful. Now, I didn't feel no pain yesterday while getting the procedure done. I didn't feel no pain today, last night. There's literally no pain. The only time I feel pain is when I'm doing the, when I'm getting the lymphatic massages done. It's very important because they have to remove all the fluid. Basically, it's the same thing when you get lipo done on your stomach. It's going to be swollen. You're going to need the massages, like all of that. And so, um, I do have another lymphatic massage scheduled for tomorrow. I'm going to try to do as much as possible because I really want my jawline to be very snatched. So, the more massages you get, the better. But I do have on this Faha and this is necessary 24 hours a day for the first five days and then 12 hours a day afterwards. I'm going to be wearing my Faha even longer than um two weeks i'm gonna be i'm gonna wear my faha a lot i'm gonna sleep in it every night because i really 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 want that snatch look but as i told you guys there is no pain only when i'm doing the massages so i do have another massage book tomorrow morning and um the massages is really affordable out here for a chin lipo massage i only paid 20 dollars, and of course i tipped her and so right now i'm actually me and my sister is waiting on the driver alex me and my sister is waiting on alex to come get us so that we can get something to eat today is my last day out here so i really want to make sure that i get a good plate of columbia we're gonna see what restaurant we could um find tomorrow before we leave again <laughs> Tomorrow, I do have, I'm supposed to, hopefully, I'm supposed to be seeing a doctor one more time before I leave, just so that they can look over everything, like a post-op um, appointment, so I'll be recording that, and yesterday, they actually told me that I cannot walk through the airport with this on my face, just because if you're leaving the country with this on, and you say that you had surgery, apparently they won't let you leave but my sister had a good question because it's like well how do, how are the women that get bbls able to leave but i think if you get a bbl out here it's because you have to stay for two weeks so that's probably like the mandatory stay limit that's the only thing i can think of but um yeah so when i'm in the airport tomorrow i will take this off so you guys will probably see my jawline tomorrow when i'm traveling home but this is that as far as the procedure went, I didn't really touch on it too much last night. Um, just because, you know, I was just really anxious because my mouth was like moving so weird after surgery and I'm like, I hope it's not um I hope it's not permanent. But the procedure itself was no pain. The only thing that I did not like was that um laughing gas. Like it's like they it's like I was on laughing gas plus um anesthesia local anesthesia and so the laughing gas just really made me feel really weird like woozy um they kind of describe the feeling of they kind of describe the feeling that you're like high like that high feeling i don't like that feeling at all like being on under laughing gas i don't really like it technically i was still awake but it's like it just makes you feel like woozy so but um as far as pain no pain they really made sure that um that they put in a lot of medication to numb the area and i actually could see uh, me getting a chin lipo like this like the spatula was like this long like oh my gosh and it's the same thing they do in your stomach they go in and they and he actually showed me the amount of fat he removed afterwards and this is why i'm kind of happy that i came to columbia to do this because in columbia they can remove more fat and everything like that so i was able to get a lot of fat removed but anyways i'm actually gonna head and get some food on we're gonna start a second vlog and so i'll see you guys in my next vlog you guys will see um me heading home without the faha on you guys will see me at my post-op appointment tomorrow um you guys will see what